Um, hi class, I'm Will Kemp and I'm going to show you the secrets behind Titian's clever use of warm and cool colours in this painting. It's a cracking painting, it's in the National Gallery in London that you can go down and have a look at it in the flesh. Um, a great place to start is to understand how he was a real master of colour Titian. He was, he was real clever at getting you to look where he wanted you to look in his painting. Ariadne and the boat are the key points in the story behind this painting. He aims our focus here by first using contrast. If you look above Ariadne's head, the darkness of her head and then the lightness of the clouds behind her, that's the most contrasty area in the whole painting. So your eye is brought right over to that left hand side. He also uses our fascination by following people's gazes by putting Bacchus's gaze right towards Ariadne. He's even got these crazy little leopards looking at each other and looking out into the distance. Then once we're engaged with Ariadne, he uses the principles of cool and warm colours to focus us on the mountains in between the two of them. This sends your eye right into the picture, gives a real sense of depth into the painting. So what happens is you start to get a little triangle from Bacchus's gaze to Ariadne to the mountains to the dress and then there's some subtler pieces of orange and blue that send your eye around the right hand side of the piece. Okay squint your eyes and we can see how on this bottom right hand side he's got a compositional triangle that uses the dark and light to create focus and balance. The second thing it helps is to see in this painting the two main colours used are complementary blue and orange, cool and warm colours. Now. Let's focus on the bottom triangle of orange to see how the bright saturated blue in the sky on the background is balanced with the muted orange triangle in the foreground. The complementary colours work best when one is intense and saturated while its complement, in this case orange, is muted. It creates harmony and balance in your painting. Titian's really clever in the introduction of another pair of complementary colours, green and red. Here Titian has used exactly the same formula for success using a bright intense red balanced with muted greens. It is a fact that cool colours, especially blue, recede into the background and warm colours like reds and the oranges come forward. I hope this has helped to bring this painting to life and to open up your eyes to the power of warm and cool colours.